Oh, I've got like American football shoulder padding right here. It's like, oh, it's just my pillows. I like how they both smell of chocolate. It says a lot about me. Hello everybody, it's me Nia. I've been wanting to do a drugstore versus high-end makeup video for ages and ages and ages now and I've been hunting around for some good dupes and alternatives and I think I found some pretty good ones if I do say so myself. Basically, in this video I'm going to be applying drugstore makeup to this side of my face and higher makeup to this side of my face and by the end of the video it should just look like I've got an ordinary full face of makeup but the big difference is that on this side the products come to more than £230 cheaper than this side but I'll talk more about costs and savings at the end of the video. I'm starting off with primer for my high-end side I'm using my Benefit Professional Primer and for my drugstore side I'm going to be using my Body Shop Insta Blair. What I love about this primer is that it just minimizes your pores and it just makes your primer, your primer, your makeup stay on all day. I just love this primer. Makes your primer stay on all day. I really like my Insta Blur primer but it smells a bit chemically but it evens out your skin tone, minimises your pores and leaves your skin feeling really, really soft. Apart from price, I think the only two main differences with these primers are that this one feels a lot more lightweight on your face than this one because this one feels quite heavy and this one just lasts that little bit longer and if the money wasn't a huge part of it I think I would definitely go with this one. Moving on to foundation, for my high end side I'm using my favourite MAC Studio Fix Fluid and for my drugstore I'm using my other favourite Revlon Colour Stay Foundation. I found a problem, like I have to only do half my nose and that's weird. I love this foundation because it blends amazingly, gives you a flawless complexion and just lasts all day. So overall, I really, really, really love this foundation. Oh my god, it looks so different to my skin tone, but I promise, I promise that it is the right shade. The thing that I like about this foundation is how it has amazing coverage. It's perfect for combination slash oily skin, which is my skin type, and it lasts all day. The main difference with these two is that the Revlon one has higher coverage, but it feels a bit more cakey than this one. This feels more light on your skin. A little bit does go a long way, trust me. I think I prefer the MAC one, because you just can't go wrong with MAC, in my opinion. On to concealer, for my high end I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin and for my drugstore I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm just going to be dampening my beauty blender with my MAC Fix Plus. The thing I love about this concealer is that it's a brightening concealer and it just brightens your dark circles. With the two concealers there's not a huge amount of difference but the naked skin does cover a bit better. I'm running out of this and I'm just like having to try and try to get some out of it. The naked skin is a bit more brightening than this concealer as well I think. Can you see a whole lot of difference? Not in the viewfinder. For my high-end powder, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and for my drugstore, I'm going to be using my NYX HD Finishing Powder. I think this powder sets your makeup amazingly and is a great mattifying powder. This is also a great mattifying powder and it's also good at balancing your skin tone. With these two, I don't think you can honestly tell much of a difference. <laughs> For my high-end bronzer, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Sole Bronzer and for my drugstore, I'm using my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. I like how they both smell of chocolate, it says a lot about me. This is a gorgeous shade, it bronzes up your face really naturally and it's really buildable and it smells of chocolate, like what more do you need in your life? I think this one's fairly average. 
it makes you seem a bit orange and there's not a whole load of pigmentation but it does smell of chocolate but not as nice as the other one I prefer my Too Faced one because it's just a lot more natural and my bourgeois one just makes me seem a bit orange. This was one of my first makeup products though, so it's like really sweet. <laughs> I like this one. On to blush. For my high end, I'm using MAC Margin, which is my all-time favourite blush, go-to blush. Love this. And for my drugstore, I am using Sleek Rose Gold. This blush is really buildable, it's such a subtle rosy tint and it's my all time favourite go to blush. This has great pigmentation and has gold undertones so it's quite a highlighty blush. Looking at these two side by side they are actually really similar and I'm quite impressed with that. On to one of my favourite parts, highlight. For high end I have my all time favourite MAC Soft and Gentle and for drugstore I have Royal Gold from the Sleek Precious Metals Highlight Palette. This highlight just adds such a gorgeous natural glow to your skin that you just didn't have before. This is honestly the most beautiful highlight you will ever see. This is a gorgeous highlight shade and easily blendable and is so pigmented. Overall, I don't think there's a huge difference with these products, although the MAC one does give you a bit more glow than the sleek one. For my eyeshadow primers, I'm using Urban Decay as high end and NYX eyeshadow base as drugstore. I use this eyeshadow primer all the time. It makes your eyeshadow last forever, like literally all day. This one is also quite easy to apply but because it's a cream it makes your eyeshadow slide leaving like a line in your crease but this actually makes the colour of your eyeshadow seem bolder because it's white. Next I have eyeshadow. I was looking for some similar shades and it was actually quite hard but in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette I think that creme brulee and semi sweet look pretty similar to gold coin and bookworm from the Hollywood palette by Tanya Bear. This palette is so pigmented, there's so many gorgeous shades, and it smells of chocolate like, so strongly of chocolate, it's amazing. But watch out, there are quite a few fakes going around, so you don't want to get your hands on a fake if it's cheap it's probably a fake and if you get it on eBay it's probably a fake just pin that out there the thing I love about this is that it has great pigmentation for the price and it is so easily blendable these aren't completely identical but they're fairly similar like if I was walking down the road no one would stare at me and go oh you're wearing two different eyeshadows you are they just like carry on walking by you know I decided to get two liquid eyeliners which have similar applicators so for my high end I have my NARS eyeliner stilo which is amazing and then for my drugstore I have my Soap and Glory Supercat which is also amazing <laughs> this guides on like nothing else it is so easy to apply because it just has such a detailed tip so I really like that fact too one eye done I think this eyeliner is perfect for beginners it's so good for practice it doesn't have the best pigmentation but it's also quite buildable I quite like the applicator as well but another thing that I hate is doing eyeliner on camera so don't be like staring at me mucking up please Right. Whew, I was like, oh, I'm relieved. That was a bit that I was dreading, and I think it went pretty well. I kind of prefer this one because it just has a more detailed tip, but apart from that, not a huge amount of difference. Very impressed. Mascara! I love this part, it just transforms your eyes. For high end, Benefit Roller Lash. For drugstore, Maybelline Lash Sensational, love this. 
Ooh, oh, just dropped it. Alrighty then, let's get on with this. This makes your lashes so voluminous, black and long, like this. Also, it makes it easy to apply on your bottom lashes because it has such a little detailed wand. These two are pretty similar, although roller lash does give you a tiny bit more lift. On to eyebrows. For my drugstore, I have my NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil, and for my high end, I have this, which came in my Bobbi Brown Everything Brows Kit. Big difference in price. This is £3.50, and this is almost £53, because it came in the Everything Brows Kit. You could buy like 15 of these for the price of these. Although this is like outrageously priced, this is really great. It comes with two shades which can fit a whole load of people and it's just so compact and cute. There's a lot of product in here but it just doesn't have the best pigmentation and it's quite easy to overdo. Finally on to lipstick, MAC Velvet Teddy is my all time favourite so I looked online and found out that Wet n Wild Spare It All is a pretty good dupe so now I've got to do the tricky bit of doing half my lips one and half my lips the other. This is such a gorgeous shade and it just lasts for ages and feels lovely on your lips. This looks so weird having half your lips done, honestly this looks so weird. This has really high pigmentation, but it's also quite hard to apply, but once it's on your lips, it feels quite buttery. The shades actually match quite well. I'm quite happy with that. Colour-wise, this is the perfect dupe for Velvet Teddy. I honestly cannot tell a difference. I can't tell a difference with the colours. That is amazing. But if I were to say texture-wise, Velvet Teddy is a lot less drying than this one. But other than that, finished. I am so pleased with how this has turned out, especially the lips. Comment down below what you think and what your favorite dupes were. Like most people, I love high-end makeup, but it's usually really, really expensive. So I think what this video proves is that you can get a high-end look for a drugstore price. The products I used on this side of my face came to a whopping £307.50, whereas the products on this side of my face came to £74.91. I've made a list of all of the products that I used, makeup, prices and where I got them from in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time, goodbye!